Welcome to Beating Cancer Daily. Beating stage four cancer for 30 years still takes my breath away every time I say it. I'm Saren, founder of the Comedy Cures Foundation, and I hope you'll join me for just a few minutes daily for the next 365 days so we may laugh, learn, maybe cry a little as we live our best days beating cancer daily together. So I read joke books for fun, and I don't care if they're children's joke books or they're the best comedian's jokes. I just love deconstructing jokes. I love joke structure. I love punchlines. I love setups. It's a weird fascination that I have but I also really enjoy writing comedy too. So it's like studying the art of the joke. And one of the books that I just love picking up and reading once in a while is called Joke Stew by Judy Brown. Now, I don't expect you to stockpile joke books, but if you decide to, put one next to your bed, put one in the bathroom, Put one near the dining room table. Have one in your car. Don't use the one in your car while you're driving. But if you're parked waiting for someone, it's a really fun thing to pass the time. And it gets you off your phone too. We're always just staring at our screens. But confession, I do read a lot of jokes online. I watch a lot of comedy online. So I do that too. But I happen to just open the book like I would do, and it landed on da 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 divorce. Now, don't stop listening. It's not going to be morbid, but I have been divorced. I'm married right now, but I have been divorced. And so writing comedy about being divorced is just something that I've had to do because it's part of my real life story. And I did find it very therapeutic the same way I find writing comedy about cancer very therapeutic. So if you are going through a divorce or you think you want to go through a divorce, you might find some stress relief in the humor that I'm going to say. If you have no intention of going through a divorce, you can still listen because some of the jokes are funny. And you can relate. You might have a friend who's going through a divorce that this can help. Now, what does it have to do with cancer? I was going through a divorce while I was diagnosed and going through several years of cancer treatment. I wonder why. (laughs) Anyway, the statistics do show that People often develop cancer after they've been through a major stressful life situation. So if you are going through cancer treatment and you did have a divorce, there is a correlation. And if you are about to go through a divorce and you're listening to this and you don't have cancer, really be careful to manage your stress level through the process. Okay, now... The first joke that I want to share with you is actually from a comedian that I met years ago in Canada, and he is such a lovely guy. And I actually met some of his family members. They were equally lovely. And this is attributed to Sinbad. It should be easy. You should be able to move on with a letter of resignation. If you can write your own stupid wedding vows, why can't you write yourself out of your marriage? If bad poetry can get you married, bad poetry should be able to spring you. You were my sunshine. Now you're my rain. Turn out you were nothing but a bad butt pain. (laughs) Sinbad. It's kind of funny if you... (laughs) If you think about his premise about (laughs) wedding vows and divorce vows, (laughs) just being a bunch of bad poetry. I don't know. I found that really humorous. Okay. Another one of my comedians at Comedy Cures, Rich Voss. It's tough. After five years of marriage, 
it's difficult to lose the one with the good credit rating. (laughs) That's an inside comics joke because comics traditionally don't make as much money as their spouses on the way up or in the middle. When they hit it big, then they do. But they usually have a spouse that has a good steady job with health insurance and a good credit rating. (laughs) Okay, I'm going to bring you to another Comedy Cures comedian. It's funny how all my comedians are in this book, but that's because they can write clean humor. Here's one from Corey Kahaney. I'm a divorced single mother. That's like God saying to you, thank you for playing the marriage game. Sorry you didn't win, but we have this lovely parting gift for you. (laughs) As a single divorced mom, that one rang really true for me. The last one I'm going to do is by a comic that I have not worked with, Fran Chernowski. And Fran wrote, I tried too hard to be politically correct. Whenever I fill out an application for a credit card under marital status, I write (laughs) pre-owned. That's so funny. Instead of divorced, crossing out divorce and write (laughs) pre-owned. Well, as you know, I love to teach comic perspective through Beating Cancer Daily. So every once in a while, I put together some humor so that I can show you the way a comedian looks at a situation from all sides and then tries to find the humor in it. And a lot of that is to reduce our pain or our fear or our anxiety about a situation. Sometimes it's just because we see the funny in it And it doesn't relate to us, but we can just see the seed of humor in that pain point. So if you followed this podcast at all, you know that I wrote the 31 day tumor humor challenge on looking at 31 days of cancer through a comic perspective from all sides, patient, caregiver, family member, husband, doctor. So if you haven't enjoyed that yet, you can find that at comedycures.org and you can find that under Tumor Humor. I really love when you tell me your comic perspective on something. So if you go to our website, you can hit the record button or the write us button and you can let me know how you're seeing the humor in your divorce or anything that you want to share with me about your cancer journey, or if you have your favorite comedian's humor on divorce, you can share that with me also. I love that perspective. I do help a lot of people through their divorces and all different kinds of humor can help. I would love to hear it. Have a blessed day and I'll see you tomorrow. If you love today's episode, then tell the world... Why? Because Beating Cancer Daily and our membership circle are both a listener and donor supported experience. So the more people you tell and the more people that join us, the more robust and interesting programs our nonprofit, the Comedy Cures Foundation, can bring to you throughout the year. I really want you to go to comedycures.org. And of course, I always want you to make a donation. It's tax deductible to the extent allowed by law. But what's super exciting is not only can you laugh and explore the comedy there, you can look at our membership levels and find the one that's great for you. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, gift one to a chemo brother or sister or to a caregiver that you just want to help them improve the quality of their day. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow. Guess what time it is. It's time for me to read the disclaimer. Beating Cancer Daily and the Membership Circle are not in lieu of medical advice or treatment. They are for entertainment purposes only. Please consult your healthcare team to review your best strategy.
Thanks for listening.